Hello everyone, my name is Rubber Ducky and welcome back to my channel. If you are having issues with LSPDFR, I got five easy steps to get you back in the game. I do want to note before I start, if you are using the enhanced edition of GTA with LSPDFR, that's your problem. I noticed that a lot of our community since, since about mid-February have been having a lot of issues with LSPDFR crashing. And that's what I want to help resolve. But if you are trying to use LSPDFR inside the enhanced edition that step that's your big problem you can't do that yet okay so don't do that only use the legacy all right everyone before we get on to the five steps i want to do a quick pre-step here just to make sure uh everything's all set for us um inside your grand theft auto folder so you want to go in here grand theft auto 5 you're going to see your plugins folder under your plugins Okay, you're gonna have all of your stuff. Like I use keep the effing door open, restrain the deceased, and then the LST, LSPDFR folder in there has all your call outs, ambient events. Copy that folder to your desktop. So I'm just gonna click it. I'm gonna click copy. I'm gonna paste it over here on my other desktop here. And then under LSPDFR, I know a lot of you put a lot of effort into your characters and we do not want that being changed. So we're gonna highlight, copy, and paste. Okay, so now that I have rubber ducky copied and that done, we're gonna get on to the five steps. Um, the truth is, this is the easiest way to do it and it's the most accurate way. We're going to have to do a fresh install of GTA 5 and LSPDFR. Um, the reason being is all of your plugins, and you should know this, doing them over all these times, you have to put them in different folders and they make different changes. Well, with that big update in March, a lot of file names changed. And that's why you're running into these crash errors is for example, clown woman, big shoes, underscore zero three, 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 one. She could be deleted, renamed, removed, edited, you name it. And any of your plugins that we're using or any of your callouts that we're using her, are gonna cause a crash because she may not be in the game anymore. Now, I don't know that to be, an, that's just an example, but that's what's happening. And so the only way to fix it is to do a fresh install. Um, obviously, my GTA folders, I do not touch. Everything I do is inside my mod folder under my updates, um, which is how you're supposed to be doing it. So hopefully that's how you're doing it. If not, well, you'll be doing that now. Uh, and I advise you to watch my how to install LSPDFR so you don't make that mistake in the future. Um, but we need to get a fresh GTA. And from looking on my screen, do you know what's GTA? What's LSPDFR? Nope, I surely don't. So with that first step, we're going to just, right under that X64 folder, just highlight all of these files down to the X64A, X64B files. You see them all down there? And just delete everything else. You don't need it, delete it. It's not needed, okay? Then you're gonna want to, just to show that they're deleted, it's like not wanting to update for whatever reason. Uh, you wanna highlight your LSPDFR mod plugins folder. We're just gonna delete them. We're gonna wait for that to delete. Refresh the page. So now you know they're gone. Licenses, get rid of that. And these .dll files under the x64s, it's like x input and zlib, delete them. They could be GTA, they may not be, I don't know. I do this because I know that all of these files, all the x64s, those are GTA, and you should not ever be touching those. Your x64, uh, your update, um, I don't have a scripts folder. I'm gonna delete that too. So all of these log, all of this, that's GTA. But I know I deleted a GTA file in there. So I don't wanna sit here for two hours reinstalling the entire game. That's why I'm doing it this way. If you wanna just delete the folder and reinstall from Steam because your internet's fast, do it. No harm, no foul. 
this is the quick way because I think this is going to take like 10 minutes and it's going to replace like 29 files. So when you do this, just open up your Steam account. And I'm using legacy because remember, we don't want to use enhance. So only on legacy because my enhance is still uninstalled. I'm going to hit play. I'm going to hit play and it's going to say, wait a minute, there's a problem. And it knows that there's a problem because I deleted all those files. So what we're gonna do is on Grand Theft Auto V Legacy, right click properties, okay? And then you wanna click on installed files, verify integrity of game files. This is gonna take five, maybe 15 minutes, depending on your computer, mine's pretty quick but I'm gonna skip you to the next part of the video. Okay guys, so we're back. GTA is ready to play. I actually hit play already, loaded it up. It's working great. And like I, like I thought, 25 files, I, I do this a lot. So I already kind of figured it was gonna be 25 files, uh, sometimes 26. So I'll refresh it and you'll see all those files are back in. We now have a fresh GTA and I loaded it, works fine, we're good. So we're now ready to move to step two. And here it is. Once you get to the home page, download LSPDFR 0.4.9. Then you're gonna click download this file. You're gonna scroll down. You're gonna read your agreements and you're gonna agree if you do agree. And then you're gonna click download on the setup. We're gonna give it a few seconds to download real quick. Shouldn't take long at all. Uh, mine will have it done pretty quick. So it's already there and it's underneath me right now, so you can't see it, but I'm gonna tell you right now, it's already done, so I'm just gonna click it from right here from the browser, tell it to open up. Now it's doing that setup. We're gonna wait for it to load. I speak English, so I'm gonna select English, but just select your language from the drop-down box, hit okay. Yes, we wanna continue. Read your agreements. Click I agree if you agree. And then you wanna select, make sure it's all checked. Check, 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 check all the way down and then click next. It's gonna automatically find your folder. And then you're gonna tell it to install it. So it's gonna extract all of its files. And so like I said before, you're making sure you're doing this under your legacy because the enchanted, or the enchanted, <laughs> the enhanced file does not work with LSPDFR. So once that's done, we're gonna tell it to load up that first time configurator. So once the configurator is up, we're gonna hit next. It's gonna ask us to show the license. Obviously we have to accept the license. So hit show license. Rage is then gonna pop up, giving you the license here. It's an as is license. Read it if you agree with it, great. If not, hit exit, but I agree. So I'm gonna click accept. And I assume since you play LSPD4, you're already going to accept it but uh, that's up to you. Uh, we want to disable that text rendering screen. It's just better. If you don't, it just can cause issues. So just make sure to do it. And now LSPDFR, LSPDFR has been installed correctly. So if we go back into our file here, we now have, let me hit refresh. We now have our licenses, our LSPDFR, our plugins. I am just going to get in a good habit. We'll call this 2.5 step. Go ahead and create your mods folder, all lowercase with a with an S at the end. Then hit refresh once you're done, just so you can see it. And now we're ready to move on to step three. And that is going to our plugins folder that we copied to our desktop. You want to write down all of your plugins, all of them or at least all the ones you care about, like simple control, sticky wheels, keep the effing door open, you know, um, the EUP menu for changing out our custom um, outfits and our police gear. That's important to me, so I'll be copying that. Restrain the deceased, you know, CompuLite, backup. I know everyone has something different, so I don't know what yours is versus mine. Uh, the thing is, like I said, we have to reinstall each mod individually for this to work. Um, and that's just because with all of those changes with those files, that they with that big update that they did in February and in the beginning of March, 
I don't know what mods you're using. And some of those mods may not be compatible anymore, or at least currently. Some of them may still be getting support. Some of them could be three or four years old and they're just not gonna work anymore, sadly. Um, so that's the sad part about it, but I wrote down all mine and I'm just gonna kind of do a quick test for you and show you how to do this. So we're gonna go right back to that LSPFR website. We're gonna click on downloads, scripts and plugins. And I like to just click the search bar now that it has this category now. And I'm gonna do ambient events. That's one of my uh, favorite ones. And then I'm just gonna click the search bar here. Give it a second to pull it up. So immersive ambient events. I love that. That's my favorite. That's my favorite plugin. And I'm gonna download it. Uh, if you agree, you agree. Download whatever you agree with. There's always a countdown before it does any downloading, but we shall wait. Now that it's done, I'm gonna open that folder. And I'm gonna click it here. And you'll notice it says Grand Theft Auto 5. And so if you're used to installing mods, you know that when you click that, it wants you to put these files directly into your GTA 5 folder, just like how it is here. So I'm actually gonna copy it right here and in my GTA 5 folder, I'm just gonna paste it. And that's a lot of files. And that's kind of the problem is every single one of your plugins is adding five, six, 700 files. You're not, yeah, I don't even know what files their what their names are or anything. I mean, I could see it modeled, you know, Falcon, you know, I can see them, but I don't remember all of that. And that's why this fresh install is the only way to clear out your, your errors that you're currently having. Once that's in, if we go into plugin, we'll see that we have our, uh, our, uh, ambient event here, but you notice it did grammar police. See, each event or each plugin can match up with a different plugin. And I'm going to use Grammar Police, so that's fine. Um, but that could cause me a headache later. So you install your first one, then you go down to Rage Plugin Hook, and you run it. And you go on duty. Oh, actually, I'm so sorry. Open up before we do that. Let's do LSPDFR. Characters. Let's drag our awesome character back in there, right? That's what we want. We want our character back. So drag all your characters that you created, put them back into your character folder. That way you don't lose your characters. So sorry about that. Almost forgot that. That was important. So glad we got that in there. Now go back down to the Rage plugin hook. Click on it. And we're gonna we're gonna test it. And that's the trick. You do this with every single mod and you test it every time if you can go on duty and and goof off a little bit then you know okay that mod works with lspdfr it's not causing a crash i can go to my next one and you just do that over and over and over again and i'm not going to make this video super long right i'm not going to do all 37 of them um i'm just going to do this one save and launch and i'm going to show you that you'll notice that my lspdfr works and i'm not getting crashes and you'll do that for every single one of your mods until you get a crash. When you get a crash, you'll remove that mod, relaunch it, make sure it works. Once it works, then you know that you can't use that mod until it's either re-updated or if the person that makes that mod is no longer doing it, then unfortunately, you'll have to find something in comparison to it. I'm gonna need you to get out of the vehicle right now. Get out. Get on out, madam. This ain't a joke. Get on the ground. Get on the ground right now. Madam. And that's how you do it. That's police work right there. But no, I'm goofing. Um, but yes, this means LSPDFAR is working. I have the functions, full functionality. Police are being called. Let's just test. Assistance needed in Rockford, 
seems to be working. So I know that just keep adding more mods until it doesn't and I should be just fine. Okay, so as you saw, it worked out just fine. LSP4 was doing exactly what I needed it to do. Um, goofed off a little, just had shot some lady for no reason. Uh, poor me, I'm an evil man. Hey, but that's not the real rubber ducky. You know, that was rubber ducky crazy. That's what I named him, and that's why he looks crazy. So, that's it. I know it works. I'm going to keep doing this step by step until all my mods are in. In my case, I like I said, I copied my folder out. I'm just going to put it back in, and then I'll be just fine. Um, for you, just do the same thing over and over. I would also get into the habit of every month refreshing your mods. Just going through, erasing the ones that you're not using anymore and reinstall the new ones to help prevent this problem in the future. Um, and then hopefully if you run down that problem where you're running into a lot of crashes, now you know how to refresh your system. I want to thank you all for being here. If you have any interest in horror games or anything else that I do or my LSPDFR content, go ahead and give it a watch and I appreciate it. Y'all have yourself a wonderful night and I will catch you guys in the next one. Be safe.